Hi, my name's John here. I'm the designer of games like Sensible Soccer, Cannon Fodder, Whizball, Parallax and Social Soccer. And I listen to the 1UP Gaming Podcast. Up next on the 1UP Gaming Podcast is 10 minutes of nothing. Will it be the team talking about nothing or a guest interview? Stick around and find out now. It's 10 minutes of nothing. Yeah, 10 minutes of nothing. So still David, still one up gaming, still episode four hundred eight of the one up gaming podcast, and this is going to be the ten minutes of nothing. So for the ten minutes of nothing, we brought this into effect because when we had our podcast before, we would just ramble on and on and on, and it just didn't make a cohesive sort of whole sort of segment. So I thought ten minutes of nothing, bring that in. We can talk and talk and talk until the ten minute timer stops, and then we have to stop and finish the segment. Just makes it easier to do, and you were not just rattling on randomly about crap. So, as always, sponsored by Games Inspired Music. Stream it, buy it, go on to Amazon, go on to Spotify, just whatever you want to do. 20% of each sale will go to the Child's Play charity, so that's amazing. And also, we have our first 100 podcasts available at audiobooksontape.com. So, go on there, buy that. And what's more amazing is we will donate one pound of each sale to the Diabetes UK charity. Because, oh, I am diabetic, so I just think it's fair to give them some kudos for helping me when I was really bad. Um, But yeah, so as I say, this is World of Gaming episode 408, and this is going to be the 10 minutes of nothing. So I am just going to talk about the Euros, so apologies if you are not European or you're not really into football, soccer, that type of thing. So anyway, we'll we'll start the timer now, just so I know where I am. Um, So I will just sort of say... Congratulations, Spain. You won. And I will say that I thought they would win. The first time I saw them play in their first game, they were absolutely immense. They really were good. And I think the the team of the tournament won and they were you know, they they should have they yeah, the team of the tournament won the to- tournament, <clears throat> which is weird when you think about it, because a lot of these sort of teams, they either start well, then fade, or the you start poor and build, where Spain were just on it from the first game, and they were just brilliant. So, I will just like, go through the groups. So, Group A, it was um, Scotland... Switzerland, Hungary and Germany. So Scotland is my... Well, my dad was Scottish and I do follow Scotland every now and again. I like to see what's happening and I like them to do well. But in this tournament, they were just completely and utterly outclassed and they were really badly beaten a lot of the time. I think they only got one point off one person. Um, Must have been Switzerland they got a point off. But, yeah, Germany won the group easily, and then Switzerland came through. I think Hungary qualified as well as a third-place runner-up. I hate all this third-place runner-up stuff. Just do your top two, and that's all you need. So the next group, Group B, uh, Italy, Croatia, Albania, and Spain. As I said, Spain, play three, won three. Five goals scored, zero against. It was just immense, absolutely immense. They were really good. Italy crawled through, but they weren't very good. Um, So that was that. The Group C. Slovenia, Serbia, Denmark and England. And unlike Spain, where they won all three games and scored five goals and none against... England played three, won one, draw, draw, drew two, and they basically scored two and conceded one. And it was just quite embarrassing in the group stage. 
Denmark came second and Slovenia came third. And I think they also qualified as a third place runner up. But in my opinion, I don't I don't even know how Serbia didn't qualify. I, th- I thought Serbia would be the, the best team in that group, but England qualified weirdly. Group D we had Netherlands, Poland, France and Austria. Now I thought France and Netherlands easy but no Austria actually qualified top with six points France second with five points Netherlands third with four points so yeah not a great group of teams there next up we have Slovakia Belgium Romania and Ukraine and they all finished on four points which must be sickening for Ukraine because it was Slovakia, Belgium and Romania that went through. Um, no one really played well there. They were all dodgy as. And the final group, Group F, was Portugal, Georgia, Czech, so is that the Czech Republic, and Turkey. And Portugal played well, they qualified with six points. Turkey played well, qualified with six points. And Georgia played really well. And they qualified with four points. But, yeah, so that was that. Um, I wonder if I can get into the... Alright, so what's this? Uh, Group stage. Group stage is done. Group stage, group stage. Ah, here we go. Right, so then the round of 16 was Switzerland v Italy and Switzerland absolutely demolished Italy. Italy were really bad. Switzerland won 2-0. And in the other round of 16, Germany v Denmark and again Germany won easily 2-0. The next round, the next day, I think it was next day, yeah. Oh, got to pause this. A few moments later. Sorry about that. Someone's at the door. Um, so England, Slovakia, and I think Slovakia were winning one nil to about the ninety second minute, and then England got a fluky goal. It was a good goal, but it was just out of nothing. And then they scored again, like two minutes after the start of extra time. And then they went through. Spain played Georgia, and Spain won 4 1. Another game. The other round of 16 games France played Belgium, and it was quite a close game, but France won 1 0. Belgium again just didn't seem on it. Uh, next game was Portugal Slovenia, and it went all the way through to penalties, and Portugal won 3 0 on pens. Again, they didn't play well. Romania Netherlands, what do you expect? Netherlands won easily 3 0. Austria, the surprise team against Turkey, and Turkey actually won 2 1, which is quite freaky. Uh, next up, we had Spain Germany in the quarterfinals, and that was a good game. It was really probably the best game of the tournament, I'd say, or one of the best games of the tournament, and Spain won 2 1. We had Portugal v France, and it was like nil-nil all the way through, and France won 5-3 on pens. Again, France and Portugal just didn't play very well. We had England-Switzerland, and Switzerland scored an amazing goal, and then England, again, last minute of the game, scored a, an amazing sort of fluky, out-of-nothing goal, but then they... One with their penalties, they scored five goals and Switzerland only scored three. So England played amazing to get all those five goals. Then there was Netherlands, Turkey, and Netherlands won two one, which is nice. Uh, I think they played quite well. 
Then the semi-finals, we had France v Spain. And it wasn't a good match, but it was a decent match, if that makes sense. Uh, France won. No, they didn't. Spain won. I can't even read. Spain won 2-1. And, yeah, the best team of the tournament so far easily should have been going through. And then there was Netherlands and England. And the first half, England absolutely played well. But then Netherlands scored. And, again, <clears throat> England had to come back. And they eventually won 2-1 in normal time. I think they scored the second goal, like, last minute of the bloody game again. And it was just weird. So that was the semis. So the final was Spain, England. Spain scored. England scored soon after. And then Spain scored again. I think that's how it went. Um, but it was... There was no real push from England. It was like all Spain. And then England did have one break. And then it was all Spain. And then England did have a break. And when I say a break, I mean like the break forward you know, and try and score, but it just didn't feel cohesive enough to be, and it was just a weird sort of game. I don't know why there wasn't a third place playoff like there normally was, so that would have been like um, France and Netherlands, so normally they have a third place playoff, but I guess they didn't have one this year, I, I don't know, unless that's just a World Cup thing I'm thinking of, but yeah, it's just... Top scorer is weird, cause Cody Gakpo, Harry Kane, George Mac Akudunze, sorry Georgia people, um, Jamal M Musiala, Danny Olmo, and Ivan Sarantz all had three goals each, so they all win the golden boot, which is weird. Um, and it's like. All the England players, they all had most most minutes played. Weird as. I'd have used a lot more subs if it was me. But what are you going to do? Um, I think that's about it. I'm really disappointed that England didn't do well. Southgate did an amazing job for eight years. And unfortunately he has now left his role. And we're waiting to see what happens next. So that'll do for the 10 minutes of nothing for this week. So I will just say thank you all for watching, um, like, subscribe, bell the icon, all that good stuff. Um, if you enjoy football, if you enjoy soccer, let us know in the comments, I love a bit of footy. Uh, we'll have a bit of a chat, a bit of a discussion about some stuff, the PSR rules, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, so have I mentioned the fact that the games inspired music? Yeah, I'm sure I have. <clears throat> Did I mention the books? Don't know. Anyway, I've got three books available. Buy them um, from Amazon. Just search the unofficial PlayStation collection, the unofficial Sega Saturn collection, and the unofficial Nintendo 64 collection. So that'll do for 10 minutes of nothing for episode 408 of the One Game podcast. Thank you all for watching. Have a quick break, and we'll be back after this quick message. Whatever. I don't know.